And a lot of people are actually deciding that the fate of the Cardinals will end in Alliance, Ohio. And that really helps open up a discussion. Now, John, just on the base value, what, it, what does the Cardinals have to do if they want to have any chance of beating the Raiders? You know, if you're looking at, at what happened last year, they let Nate Cummick run for over 360 yards, I believe, somewhere around there. Anywhere even near that is absurd. So I'm pretty sure it was 360 yards. And uh, every time he touched the ball, he just could not be stopped. He was a great player. Unfortunately for them, he's back this year, and their rushing attack has been incredible. And on top of their defense, who, uh, dating back to Ithaca, uh, up until that game, their defense not allowed a point since September. And that was a field goal. So if that's any indication <laughs> of how good this team is. Their average margin of victory is probably around 40, 50 points. It's absolutely absurd. They are by far the favorite. Um, St. John Fisher gave them a run for their money last year, uh, down only a touchdown in that fourth quarter. And, you know, they came back charging. Unfortunately, they had, they had the missed field goal, a couple of miscues late in the Mount Union, which is a team that knew how to win football games, and they closed out a young and experienced Fisher team. And it should also be noted that when Ithaca scored 18 point, or 16 points rather against Mount Union, that was, the most, that was actually the highest amount of points that Mount Union had given up all year. And speaking of a, a number that's in the teens, Mount Union only allows 12 yards rushing a game. It's hard to believe that. It feels like as if James Real was getting that every single time he was carrying a ball. John, on the offense for the Cardinals, what do they have to do to try to, to try to stop or at least destroy some sort of momentum for this Raiders defense? You know, for the sake of comparison, you look at Mount Union played Ithaca, and Ithaca fared relatively well compared to the other opponents. They did put up 18 points, actually, I think. So that's, that's substantial considering that Mount Union hasn't allowed very mo many points this year. But then looking at the St. John Fisher Ithaca game, Fisher put up, I want to say, 37 points on that Ithaca team, and they pretty much dominated that entire game. They manhandled them up front, uh, rushed the ball well. Kramer had a good day, and the defense really played well against Danny Juvon and a, and a couple of talented players on Ithaca's offense. So looking at that, Fisher may fare better than people think against this Mount Union team. You know, a lot of people last year said, oh, St. John Fisher has never played at this, this level, uh, this deep into the postseason. Their, their experience is going to catch up with them. That might have been the case later in the game, but the first three and a half quarters, you really thought St. John Fisher had a good chance of beating Mount Union at home in Alliance, Ohio. And it should also be known that I'm pretty sure that the coaching staff here for Fisher has probably gone over that game tape from last year numerous times. And without a doubt, both sides of the football, they're all, the offense and defensive coordinators, have got to have enough scouting on this Raiders team that I'm pretty sure, that I think you would probably agree that this game on Saturday should be a pretty good game for Division Three football. Absolutely. Probably one of the best uh, out of those four uh, quarterfinal matchups. And one thing that's not going to help St. John Fisher is an injury to Steve Stepnick. Now, there's been no information released through sports information as, as to the extent of his injury because that's not really their policy. And uh, Seth and I weren't fortunate enough to go down the trainer's uh, room Anytime, anytime recently, so we can really speculate. Um, I heard through the grapevine that he only has a high ankle sprain, uh, a relatively severe one at that, but the type of player and warrior that Steve Stepnick is, he uh, hopes to play. Um, but who knows if he'll get a trainer's uh, a blessing or a doctor's blessing in that case, but even him uh, playing at uh, you know 85%, 75%, we really don't know. Him, at a lesser extent, uh, could be better than some of the other guys around Division Three football, but still, He's going to need his best against a great team and a great core of receivers uh, for Mount Union. And a lot of people are saying that the all roads pretty much end in Mount Union. Maybe the Cardinals might make that a different one as we're going to take a break here from Fisher Sports Desk. We'll be back after a few messages.